We got I forgot to film an intro. <laughs> Maybe we just don't have an intro in this one. All right, the first video with no intro. First custom e-bike video, no intro. I'm done. I'm done with intros. Now, take this microphone off. No intros. All right, what's going on, guys? Johnny Nerd out. We got another custom e-bike build for you today. Uh, today is the Motobacon, the Motor Bacon Torino. This is a drop bar road bike. This is a speed speed bike, touring bike. This is when you're covering long distances, you get a bike like this, if you're into that. So if you're new to this channel, we're gonna go over this bike. We're gonna do, show you what we did, how we converted it. And if you have a bike like this, or if you wanna get this exact bike, what you're gonna need to do it, check the description below. We're gonna have a link to all the parts you're gonna need. If you need help, go to johnnynerdout.com, book a consultation. We'd be happy to help you go over and get you, get you this thing built up exactly how you want it to be. That being said, let's start at the front. Uh, this is a, a road bike, so it's gonna have the 700 C tires. This one is 700 by 40 C tires, so they're a little bit thicker, um, but they're, they're big, but they're thick. So this is technically like a gravel bike, you could say. You could take it on gravel. It's rated for gravel. It's got the drop bars, so it's got two different brake levers up front and down below. So we wanted to have a throttle on it, so we had to put a, a handle bob on it so we could mount the throttle to it. So you could still access the throttle when you're in the drop position. We went with a T1 touchscreen display. This one's nice, it's nice big, has a USB charge cable on it. It's touchscreen, so you don't, if you wanna get to things quick, you don't need to go through this, you could also do this. But one thing I really like about this display is it'll show you your watt hour average per mile. So it'll tell you how much you're consuming. You know, if you're like me and you're on your car, you like to see how many miles per gallon you're averaging. This is the same thing. It'll say how many watt hours per mile you're averaging. So if you know, hey, this battery, by the way, this is a 25 amp hour, 25 amp hour, 52 volt. So you get about 1300 watt hours. If you're averaging 10 watt hours per mile over the last 10 miles, you know you're gonna get 130 mile range if you keep that same pace going, which is really nice. So it's good to have that. Down below we went with a Bafang 750 watt mid-drive motor. We paired that with a Lecky 46 tooth. We went with the stock 48 tooth and the chain kept popping off in the lowest gear. It actually was popping off up front here. So we had to go with the Lecky. The Leckies are really good at problem solving chain line issues and chain issues. So if you're finding that the chain keeps popping off, the Lecky is really good because it's got that narrow wide tooth profile and it has a little bit more offset. So it just really grabs onto that chain and it keeps it on. So if you're having chain issues, you might want to try a Lecky of the right size that you need. Now the Leckies have different offsets depending on different sizes you get. Anyways, that's a whole nother topic. So with these, you, we went with the inline brake cutoffs. So check the, check the link below, because a lot of people are like, how do you do brake cutoffs with drop bars? There's a couple different ways, but the easiest way is to just put inline brake cutoffs in. Um, and that just goes in line, just like the gear shift sensor installation. It's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, it's a pretty simple build, but this is a long range commuter bike. With a 1300 watt hour battery, you are looking at you know, if you're burning 20 watt hours a mile, that's about a 65 mile range. And 20 watt hours per mile is about, probably with pedaling, you're getting about 20 miles per hour with an average side, like if you're 185 and you're pedaling pretty good, you're gonna be burning about 20 watt hours per mile at about 20 miles per hour on this bike. So at 20 miles per hour, you'd be getting a 65 mile range. That's the one thing that always annoys me is when you see e-bike brands saying 100 mile range or up to the, and it's like, what, what is this based on? If you go four miles per hour and you do all the pedaling, you could get a thousand mile range out of this bike. So anyways, let's go do a top speed test. Let's see uh, how fast this thing will go. So you can see 34 miles per hour. Um, and this was on a half charge battery, so it was at 51 volts. Fully charged, this is 58 volts. So I probably would get like another two miles per hour out of this on a fully charged battery. But you know, we like to we like to store and ship batteries at half charged. And this bike is going to a customer that shipped us this bike. So we're now shipping it to them. So if that's something you're into, if you're like, oh, I really want this bike, but I want it to be converted, find a good donor bike make it into a way better e-bike than you can buying something pre-made. Because all this is serviceable. Anything that goes wrong, you could service everything. This is still a normal bike at the end of the day. So all of this is still serviceable. These Bafang motors, the easiest to service of any of the motors kits out there. If you buy something pre-made, first of all, you're probably not gonna be able to service it yourself. And options, accessories, all that are just gone. This is, this is definitely the way to go. Cool, all right, I think that's about it. So uh, if you have any other questions, go to johnnynerdout.com. 
check out my other videos. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos up. So if you're having problems with something, check those out. Otherwise, ask me. I'll make a video about it. Cool. Guys, have a good one. Thanks. I don't think I want to talk about anything else, personally or professionally.